A social media post shared hundreds of times reignites a years-long debate in southeastern North Carolina. This picture shows a horse drawn on the ground while pulling a carriage through downtown Wilmington. The horse's owners say it just got scared, but there's now a petition circulating online calling for an end to those horse-drawn carriage rides. WECT's Zach Solon talked with a rep from the company that operates the carriage tours downtown. Now, Zach, in addition to the petition, there are a lot of comments on that picture saying that the city should stop those rides. Yes, John, while some are calling for an end to those carriage tours in Wilmington, Rebecca Leonard with Springbrook Farms says they are an important part of keeping these animals healthy. This picture posted last Friday already has more than 400 shares on social media. It shows a horse lying on 2nd Street in downtown Wilmington while pulling a carriage, prompting concern from people like Elizabeth Gordon. I felt terrible for the horse, obviously. I felt badly for anyone who had to witness that kind of trauma, and it just made me reignite my passion to like see this practice end. But Rebecca Leonard with Springbrook Farms, the company that runs the carriage rides, says the horse, Trooper, just got spooked. A delivery truck right next to him slammed their back door, the door that slides down in the back, and they slammed it, and he just kind of spooked a little bit, sidestepped, and uh, unfortunately when he did, he also hit a nice gentleman's parked car um, and uh, lost his footing, and then he went down. She says Trooper is doing well. We've given him a couple of days out at the farm now just to get kind of all of his little zoomies and adrenaline out and uh, he should be back, you know, to hang out with the public here soon. But the incident has led to calls to bring horse drawn carriage rides to an end in the port city. It's cruel, it's outdated and it's unsafe. Leonard appreciates the concerns, but says the tours help to keep these rescued horses in shape. The workload for a carriage horse is substantially less than if they were on the farm. Um, it does just help them stay fit and active so that they don't get overweight. And they don't lose their muscle mass. Uh, it is what they are bred to do. They are working horses. Gordon disagrees. People will say, well, they were bred to do this kind of work, but they were bred not to do it in the middle of a downtown of a city with cars all around them, trucks, loud noises, the pollution. An ongoing debate that will continue into another southeastern North Carolina summer. Leonard tells me the horses are rescued from Amish farms across the country and Springbrook Farms becomes their forever home. She says there are seven horses running tours with one about to go into full retirement. Well, Zach, uh, does the company have to follow any regulations as far as the city is concerned when it comes to caring for the horses that do pull the carriages? Yeah, John, so the city does have rules in place that say the horses have to take breaks every hour and cannot work when the temperature gets to 95 degrees or hotter. Leonard says her company does follow those rules. All right, Zach, appreciate the update. Thanks.